So this went viral. A ghost! It's fortunately not real. And I'm gonna explain to you why this went viral. So this was a social media campaign to tell people it's dangerous to stay at work late. And they used ghosts to explain that. And they didn't tell people it was a social media campaign. So everybody just thought it was real life goats. And people went crazy. These two pictures also went viral. People were like, whoa! Did giants used to live among us? Did these people eat all their veggies? Because how else did they get so huge? Well, it's because they aren't real skeletons. They were actually photoshopped to be massive. And it looks so real that I was actually fooled for a second. So when this picture first surfaced, everybody thought this man was a time traveler. And I can see why. I mean, he has a modern looking shirt, modern looking sunglasses, and a camera? Who is this guy? People did their research and they figured out that that was actually a shirt back then. Those sunglasses actually existed back then, and that camera existed back then, so not a time traveler. Not yet. In the 60s, people thought that Bigfoot lived among them because they saw this photo of what looked like Bigfoot running around the forest. But it was really just an actor who was practicing his role in a film that was coming up. He was in the forest trying to, you know, act out his role and people were taking pictures of him. So this photo was proven false, but just so you know, Bigfoot is still at large. They say this photo was never altered, ever. And you're like, but then, Azzy, why is there a ghost there? Well, there's actually a reason for it, and it's not a ghost. So light leaked into the photography plate that caused this effect. But for the longest time, people actually thought this was a real ghost. Like people were like, can't go there. Honestly, real or fake, I also wouldn't take my chance. Not going. When Hurricane Sandy came to New York a few years ago, people started sharing this image like crazy. And they're like, wow, look how crazy the storm is. But actually, this is just a screenshot from a movie called The Day After Tomorrow that somebody took a picture of and they're like, I'm gonna tell someone I took this photo and then literally trolled the world. I mean, you gotta give a little bit of a round of applause for that big of a troll. There is a literal zebra walking east on the 56th street right now. I actually wish ze- Whoa, I just whistled. Like I was saying, I actually wish the zebras were allowed to wander the cities. Like, they're such majestic creatures. I could just look at them and be like, oh. But that's not the case. This is actually just a zebra that's made out of wood and somebody crafted that with their bare hands and made it look so lifelike to the point where someone took a picture of it and said it was real. I mean, I believe it. This is a picture of Paris Hilton with a shirt that says, stop being poor. <laughs> this picture drove the internet wild. They were like, how dare she wear that? That's so offensive. Well guys, she didn't actually wear it. I mean, she was wearing the shirt, but it didn't say that. It actually said, stop being desperate. This person's just as good at Photoshop as an Instagram model, but somehow people still believe this. I mean, I don't blame them. Everybody wants to believe in mermaids. Honestly, <sighs> How cool would life be if mermaids were real? This is a photo of Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor. That is actually a lot of trickery. It's two photos that people combined into one. This photo of Elizabeth Taylor was taken in 1946, while the photo of Marilyn Monroe was taken in 1950. And they just combined the two like, pop. Remember that jet from Malaysian Airlines that just went missing? Well, some people started saying that it showed up in the Ukraine and they posted this picture everywhere. But it's actually just an edited picture from the series Lost. But they fooled a lot of people. A lot of people were like, they found it. Why get all our hopes up so high? They say this picture is totally real and is just a result of a tree getting hit by lightning. But it's pretty obviously fake. This one is like the only one that I'm like, nah, bruh. Like this tree looks like it's three seconds away from getting superpowers or turning into Groot. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what it's selling. This is a real dog called the biggest boy. He's supposedly the biggest dog ever. Now he's actually a real dog, but they did slightly enhance him. And by slightly enhance him, I mean they made him as big as a horse, which uh, he's not, unfortunately. But also fortunately, because imagine playing fetch with a dog that big, he'd come back with a tree or a Tesla. The mommy maker lifelike baby costume for dogs fools up to 30% of pediatricians. 75% real baby hair, what? <laughs> now I know people love their pets and their babies, but this is fake. This is something that was made and 
went viral and people believed it and people were upset about it people raged about it but they were upset about something that's not even real everybody just needed to chill a little the internet trolls strike again it's very important to know that just because you saw something on the internet doesn't mean it's always true take this for instance if grasshoppers were that big even if there was one that big, you know I'd never leave my house. Well, actually, I never leave my house, so, you know, maybe they are that big. You never know. Do your own research. No, but seriously, you can't trust anything nowadays. Like, for example, this photo. I saw it before. I thought it was real. I'm pretty sure I showed it on this channel and freaked out. And now I've done more research and figured out that my life has been a lie. But can you imagine how much sushi we can make out of this? <laughs> okay, it's just a joke. Don't get triggered, okay? Sit down, I'm sorry, I apologize. While I do think that there are creatures this big down in the bottom of the ocean, because we don't even know what's on the bottom of the ocean. We have a little bit of idea, like a small percentage, but we have no idea about the rest of it. And it's awesome. But this photo was quite fake. In a galaxy far, far away, people actually fell for this. People thought that this was the ghost of a medieval farm boy. But really, it was just Anakin Skywalker. What are the odds? So people thought they discovered a strange creature on the beach. They're like, what could this be? It looks so strange. But really, it was just a half decomposed raccoon. No wonder it's taking them so long to film Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Okay, I don't care what your job is. Nobody gets paid enough to do this. Nobody. And I was right once again. This is in fact another case of Photoshop. When this photo first popped up on the internet, people thought it was 100% real. And that's because it is. But what was fake about it was the story that was attached to the photo. So sometimes the photo could be real, but sometimes the story isn't. So the fake story was that this antelope, I keep wanting to say cantaloupe. The story was that the antelope saw the cheetahs coming for its babies, so it sacrificed itself to save her babies. It's so sad that Disney could have made a hundred million dollar movie out of the story. But actually the real story is that these animals grew up together in captivity and they were just playing around. Like neither of them got hurt. That's kind of cool. I like that they like can just chill and be friends. I mean, the cantaloupe, I mean, antelope looks a little scared, but he's okay. She's okay. Guys, it's a double rainbow across the sky. Well, actually it kind of looks like some rainbow vortex. It's fake, but the funny thing is that the weather network actually picked it up and aired it on TV. And, when they, and they were like to everybody, to the millions of people watching, like, whoa, look at this rainbow in Ireland, dude. You messed up. I mean, it even looks fake. How does a TV network not catch that? Believe it or not, this is a shark on the freeway in Houston, Texas. Believe it or not, this was actually photoshopped. I'm actually quite glad that there aren't sharks on our roads because people drive crazy enough as it is. Like we don't need to add sharks into the mix. Roads are scary places. The fairy pools, Isle of Sky, Scotland is actually a Photoshop picture of shot over river in New Zealand. I would be so mad if I flew all the way to Scotland and didn't find this fairy forest. Can you imagine just sitting on a plane for hours and hours and hours and then get there and find that it was just photoshopped? This is why you gotta do your research. I'd be pretty disappointed. I would say like at least it's beautiful, but it's not even in Scotland. Like you would be completely in the wrong place in the world. You can find this blue watermelon all over Pinterest as a Japanese watermelon, but in fact, it doesn't even exist. It looks hella delicious. I would eat it right up if it did exist even for a second. This crazy photo was taken over a shopping plaza in Nigeria and everybody thought it was real. So this is actually what it is. It's a kite. People thought it was like Jesus in the clouds and stuff, but like, it's just a kite. Sorry to burst everybody's bubble. It's kind of creepy. Like why would you even want a kite that looks like this? Well, there you have it guys. Some really crazy viral photos. I went viral that I've explained to you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other.